Hey guys, this is Texo Stickies Glue, and today what I've got for you guys is a review of the Zenus silicon case for the Samsung Galaxy S. Now, this is quite a cheap case. I think I picked it up for about seven quid on eBay, but I think there's quite a lot of them being sold cheaper now, and they are also in a variety of colours, not just white. I chose the white simply because when I got it, that was the only one that was in stock. So you can see the box. There's little bits of pieces just written all over it. Some interestingly phrased English on the back. Also making out that it's a leather case, but never mind. So we're just going to open it. And the packaging is alright. I have already opened this and used this. This is just so you can see how it comes. So you've got the case, and you also got this. Which originally had a rather nice screen protector inside, but I had a little accident when I was fitting it involving a cup of tea. But we won't go there. But yeah, that seemed a really nice screen shield. Much better than the one I've got on now. But unfortunately, due to the cup of tea incident, I couldn't use it. The case itself, if I just shuffle over here, is silicon, obviously. And if my autofix catches up. No. Is it going to? Probably not. Well, it's just inside. It says, make your own style, designed by Zenus. It's got this little knob thing, which you can see is actually raised by probably a couple of millimetres. Inside you've also got a little cutout where the power button is, just so it's a little bit thinner there. Obviously you've got a cutout for the camera, which is actually really, really nice. Speaker hole, which seems to work well, doesn't seem to muffle the speakers at all. The volume rocker, which again is cut inside so that's just a bit thinner and it's raised this autofix is useless and it's raised on the outside you've got cut out for the power which allows you to use the scrolling sliding thing really really well headphone jack which I'll get to a bit later on this cut out for the jack and the Korean model which we don't have on the back it's again got Zenus make your own style, which you probably can't read. A uh, little indent as well over the speakers. Bottom, you've got a microphone hole. So, all in all, it's not a bad case. Let's put the phone in it, it fits really well. However, we will get to the little gripes in a second. So, as you can see, primarily it fits pretty well. It looks sort of all very good, but after a few days, it gets really, really Zeus loose. And I'll try and demonstrate this. But if you see there, right at the centre, it is raised a tiny bit above. If I just gently squeeze, you can see it raises it. And this is how gently you have to touch it. I mean, I'm almost applying no force there. And you can see that it just lifts away off the device, which you may not think would be too bad of a problem, but using it sort of every day in and out your pocket, onto your desk, out your pocket, into the, onto your desk, not into your desk, but whatever, it does start to build up a layer of dust and grease and bits and pieces here, which you might not find particularly annoying. I didn't particularly like it because there was that gap between the screen and the bezel, which I'd rather keep clean. This autofix is fairly appalling, which I'd rather keep clean. And the other issue is that because it's loose stuff, it does tend to get around the back. And coupled with that little nubule thing, you get, you can already see it occurring here, look, that little layer of grease and dirt in the shape of that little Zenus logo. The other gripe, which I had with the headphone jack, is that... I can get a headphone jack here. When you put that in, catch up, come on. What is wrong with this autofocus? There you go. Looks fine. Turn it around, you can see that it pulls the case up here. You can't quite make it out, but it's not a straight line, it's getting pulled up. And if you pull it out and lay it again, you can see. So just to show you the difference, pulls it up, 
properly and that's not particularly irritating but it just adds to that looseness of the case and it does mean that if you're using a headphone jack you probably want to pull it just because it gets caught when you put it in just to tighten that bit up again but everything else, I mean this cutout's really good he says and misses it but you can see that works really nicely but again it's a little bit loose you can see just putting my finger in there gently just squeezes the whole thing out but sort of the trade off for having it that loose is that this silicone is really nice it's kinda sort of got a really dry dusty feel which makes it really unslippy so really slippy so it doesn't grip I'm sort of gently pushing that and you can see so in and out of the pocket is never really an issue with this compared to some other silicas and the protection it's fairly good you can sort of see it bouncing you can also hear the audio lag um, just on that note this is a new camera that I bought today which I'm debating to trade in for a Kodak Zi8 but we'll see how this goes but just to show you the rest of it the power button works cool volume also works really nicely and in the dark it's really easy to see where they are just easy with the device with no case on you can still feel it and at the bottom these buttons are completely unobscured so I'd say that if you're looking for a cheap silicon case just to protect your device for the majority of the day if you're not pulling on and off you can see there look just squeezing it you can see the edge just there lifts up just because it's quite loose but if you're looking for just a cheap case just to throw your phone in and you can get sort of oranges and blues and greens just to add a bit of extra colour this might be the case for you I am probably going to invest in something else just because I want something slightly better protection sort of dust wise and I really don't like how loose it is because I mean I want something I can just put on hard case, forget about it. This I'm sort of constantly taking it out to clean it. I'm always worried that if I put it in my pocket, you might sort of knock the edge and that might come off and you might scratch on some keys or something. But I mean, as a cheap silicon case, it's not bad. The screen shield that it comes with is really good. Just don't drop it in a cup of tea. And sort of the whole Zenith thing seems to be quite good. I might get one of their mesh cases. I'm not really sure yet. I'm just debating it. But sort of comment if you've got one of these yourself and you've had any of the sort of loose issues, that might just be my one. Or I might have done something stupid to it, like drop it in a cup of tea. Um, and also comment on how you think this quality is because I'm debating whether to send this camera back. Because I can just take it to my local store, drop it off, get the money back and order a Kodak Zi8. Because I believe it's probably about the same quality with slightly better autofocus. And you've also got the addition of an external mic, which this doesn't have. But I'm sort of rambling now, not really talking about the case. So this has been Tech Zero Stickies Glue. If this is the first of my videos, please subscribe. I will have loads more out on sort of games, cases, and other Android goodies. So also follow me on Twitter. There's a link on my channel page on the sort of banner up top. This has been Tech Zero Stickies Glue, and I'll see you guys later.